guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what is in my diaper bag. The diaper bag I have is the MZ Wallace Large Metro Tote and I will show you what's inside and then I will give you a little bit of a review or I'll give you a review along the way of how I like this bag. I do think that it is a really great diaper bag option just right off the top. I have the gray and black style. It's really big, which is fantastic because if you have a baby, then you know that it there's always like the inevitable overpacking that happens. And as a new mom, especially, I'd rather have too much than not enough. So let's jump right into what is in my diaper bag. Okay, so this bag doesn't have any outward or outside zippers or outside compartments and it just has one big inside pocket and what i really really like or one big inside compartment not pocket what i really like is the top of the bag has a zipper so i don't know if you can see that so you can zipper the back so if you wanted to leave this bag in the car or if you were going to like a heavily populated area and you just wanted to make sure your stuff was going to be safe you could zipper the top and i think that that is so great so like i mentioned the inside one big open space and then there are some inside little pockets little compartments and i'll show you what i keep in those so let's jump into this first thing right on the top or actually this isn't in the diaper bag but this is something that i pack in our diaper bag when we are leaving and that is this little eco pacifier i will link this down below this is such a great pacifier hugo had a real hard time with the advent par uh, pacifiers and this was the only pacifier that he sort of took a liking to he still like doesn't love it it's not his first choice the boob is his first choice but it has come in handy and so we really like this so when we're not using this at home i will put it in our diaper bag so right off the top i have i threw in when i do laundry i always make sure that in the diaper bag there are a few different like washcloths and towels and swaddles so i packed a little tiny washcloth the the possibilities are endless the reasons why you would need a washcloth so i won't go get into that I have one of the Aiden and Anai little burpee cloths. You guys know I love these. I think that they're so great, so I always pack one of those. And then I always make sure that I have a swaddle in my diaper bag. I like having a swaddle not to swaddle him because he definitely doesn't need to be swaddled during the day. But if he needs a blanket or what I really like using a swaddle for is to lay down on a surface if we're changing him. So we, we haven't needed to use like a bathroom changing station yet, but... If we're in the car or if we're like at someone else's house, I like to lay down the swaddle on whatever surface I'm using as like a changing pad almost so that I don't dirty up wherever I'm changing him. So I've got that. And then I have a little hat for him. I mean, I would say like the only, the only con to like a large tote like this is that there aren't compartments where you can store things. So if organization and like having that sense of structure is really important to you in a diaper bag this might not be the one for you now this isn't technically a diaper bag I opted to get a bag that was just like a regular tote um, and then turn it into a diaper bag that way when I'm done like needing to carry around a diaper bag I still have a bag that I can use and is super functional this doesn't bother me like the fact that everything is just in the bag doesn't bother me because at the end of the day when I'm like trying to get everything together I just throw everything into my bag to be honest. Um, there are like insert and dividers that you can purchase for big totes. Um, I know that Tote Savvy is a really big company and they make really great organizational inserts that you can put in your totes. So that might be an option if you like the style of this bag but you don't like that there aren't a lot of compartments. So again like it doesn't really bother me and it isn't something that I don't know it isn't something that i found super necessary but if that's something that you like that might be something to look into continuing with what is in the diaper bag a little rattle toy to distract him i always try to pack a snack for myself if it's not in my purse then i make sure that it's in the diaper bag because i'm breastfeeding and it's not even so much that i get hungry when i'm breastfeeding because i don't but i just don't have the time to eat and especially if like we have an appointment or we're running around i will sort of realize while we're out that i haven't eaten during the day at all and i'll get really hungry so a bar is always good and then there's a water bottle in here 
I try to always bring water wherever I go. There is also, this is a little bit gross, but a bottle. <laughs> We, the last time I took this bag out, we had tried giving Hugo some formula and uh, for a million reasons, I won't go into that now, but that's why we have the bottle. I don't normally carry around a bottle because <clears throat> we're back to exclusively breastfeeding him, but that's why that is in there. And then I bring some clothes or change of clothes the first time i ever took hugo out was to my best friend Aaliyah's house and i didn't bring a change of clothes and the idea that like he could go to the like have a blowout at any minute i didn't have a change of clothes for him like terrified me so now i have all of the clothes this is a little jacket i was actually looking for this cute little ears in case he gets cold another hat another little <clears throat> excuse me another little bib or like cloth another little cloth a lot of cloths in here a little hat i love this hat this is from gap baby gap i think it's reversible or i don't know like who who says you can't reverse it so cute and then we also have i'll show you the rest of the clothes so this little onesie zero to three month with which actually i don't think is going to fit him anymore so i'll have to do a little swap out of clothes although this one looks kind of stretchy he's officially like in three to six month clothing these little pants, super cute. I forgot the clothes that I put in here for him. A plain white onesie and some little socks and another hat. Like excessive, too much clothes. You don't need that many clothes. But again, I feel like every time I like go out with him, I like throw an extra piece in here. And so it accumulates to just a lot of stuff. And then I'll show you this big, well, I have, there's a big pouch. So with most MZ Wallace, Wallace bags, they come with pouches. I'll show you what's in here in a second. I'll show you what else is in this big compartment. Um, some string. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but I have this string on my wrist. And I think I mentioned um, in like a vlog, I'm sure, but it was from my blessing way. My doula, Aaliyah, put together a blessing way for me, which was like um, almost like a baby shower, but a little bit more like ritualistic. And um, yeah, just like as a beautiful like get together with my friends and family right before I gave birth. And part of it was like creating these bracelets. So anyway, I wanted more of this string because it's so pretty. And so she gave it to me and it's been in my day bag ever since. This is a really important one, a big one. This is my nipple my nipple shield and if you've been watching my videos then you know that I have to use a nipple shield when I breastfeed and it became pretty apparent quickly or early on that when we're out and about it's very hard like you can't just throw your nipple shield in your bag one because it's like not sanitary but two like it's transparent so you'll lose it and also it's like a silicone material I don't know exactly what the nipple shields are made out of but they like they pick up dirt and they pick up hair and like everything sticks to them so when you're traveling it's really nice to like keep it in a little case and this looks like a retainer case if you had a retainer when you were a kid then you'll know this is by modern mama i'll link this down below i got it on amazon and i just put my you can see like nipple shield right into the case and i throw it into my diaper bag so that i have it when we are out i have a pack of gum just in case i need gum i don't know i don't really chew gum but there you go this was a, this is an empty formula packet. This is what we were trying to give him. It's the Gentle Ease Enfamil Premium Formula. Long story, but again, that was from that day that we tried to give him formula. I have a little toy in here for him, just in case we need like something to distract him. Some diaper cream. This is seventh generation coconut care diaper cream. We actually don't use diaper cream when we're at home, to be honest but for he had like a tiny tiny diaper rash at one point and so i figured you know what i'll just keep it in my bag just in case better to have it than to not these babu botanical three-in-one face hand and body cleansing wipes these are not necessarily for him more so for me in case like i need something to i don't know wipe something up i'll use those this is a babu botanicals clear zinc sport stick sunscreen sunscreen stick again mostly for me not necessarily for him another bar this is a lara bar and then the last thing in this huge compartment are water wipes so water wipes are our wipe of choice they are 99.9 percent .9 water they have a small a bit of fruit extract and yeah they're just like a great big packet of wipes to carry around in the diaper bag 
And that's everything in the main compartment. So you can see now it's just like a big, deep compartment. And then in this little packet, all we have in here are diapers. So I keep all the diapers in this little pouch. Just really easy to find them and to grab them versus just having like the diapers float around inside the inside of the bag. So I always try to top up if we're going out. I try to top up and put um, new diapers in here. But at the, top, at the moment, we actually have a lot of diapers in here. And then there is a compartment right in here that currently, oh, has something in it that I wanted to put in my, in my purse. So I'll take that out now. Another pair of socks, because you know, never have enough. And then on the other side, so on the other side, there's like this little cell phone holder and another little space. I don't keep my cell phone in there, but I do keep two hand sanitizers. Nope, that's a lie. One hand sanitizer, and this is the Dr. Bronner's 18-in-1 Hemp Baby Unscented Soap. I carry this around because um, it's really convenient when I need to clean my uh, nipple shield nipple shield yeah nipple shield it's um a really great small little soap to carry around and it's the soap that we use to clean the nipple shields at home so it's like consistent and then the other little guy that we have in here is the 365 lavender hand sanitizer and just good to have this in my bag and so yeah that's everything that i carry around in my diaper bag as a whole i would highly highly recommend the mz wallace metro tote as a diaper bag Again, I love it that I love that it's a catch all. That, like you could throw anything in here and not have to worry about it fitting. I love that there's a zipper at the top. I think that's so great. If you've never seen or felt MZ Wallace bags before, they're so soft. The material they're made out of is so soft. There's like a spongy element to it too, like a nice cushion. So it's really, really comfortable to wear. I find that that for me is really important. No matter how much stuff I put in here, and of course I put a lot in here, it never gets uncomfortable on my shoulder which I think is really really great and just a beautiful bag one that again you can have after you stop needing to carry around a diaper bag you could use this for travel you could use this for yourself it's just a really really stunning bag okay guys that's everything for today let me know in the comments down below what type of diaper bag you have I would love to know I spent even before I was pregnant with Hugo I remember just like looking at diaper bags online and and just being so excited to one day get to choose one I feel like it's such a fun purchase and so yeah let me know if you have a diaper bag what brand or like what type of diaper bag you have and how it sort of like if it works really well for you I'd be interested to know and that's it don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell give this video a thumbs up and I'll talk to y'all really soon bye guys